Hello everyone, this is Jordan and we're going to cover Europunt in this video. Um, we've been following this pair for some time now. The whole idea here starts from the weekly and the daily charts where we have that range. That range was broken and the price is holding below it. So this is where we want to be focusing on the sales towards the next zone. Okay, and dropping down to the 4 hour chart, we can see that the range is now finally being cleared. And after the multiple false breaks and divergences on the way, we are now on the 4 hour chart getting the first clues about um, reversal, which is basically creating the lower lows, creating the momentum on the 1 hour chart as well. We can see that. And this is where basically the attacks to the downside, in my opinion, should be appearing for us. Okay. And this is where we can start taking advantage of that. So those pullbacks currently could be an ideal situation for us to go ahead and sell. Talking about protecting that position short term, of course, uh, is probably the most interesting part having that zone right here is perfect but if you want to be extra conservative in my opinion we should be covering that high uh, and furthermore that high would be probably sufficient even if we see some kind of spikes here because we're actually creating lower lows uh, sorry lower highs right and that gives us this blue trend line so protection above here even if we spike above should be uh, the price should be stopping around this blue line right there. If you want to be more aggressive, of course, option number two is to protect the current swing, which is around that zone. And the most aggressive would be using this as a breakout somewhere, flags or whatever you're trading and protecting here the most recent swing to be formed. Um, of course, do that in a way so you protect yourself more or less. That's one very, very strong zone. And as you can see, the price is currently testing and respecting it. We have a few spikes. So what you can do is go ahead and cover these spikes. And basically, uh, we want to see the price holding below that zone. And continue lower. If that would be the case, then we're probably going to get an impulsive move here. Okay, five leg structure, no divergences, nothing against us. Then possible ABCD patterns, corrections and continuations to the downside. As we said, this is the four hour chart range. So plenty of room to the downside, even if we go ahead and protect uh, more conservatively. Keep in mind about this trend line also, which is connecting the two lows here and that level okay those two are coming together at approximately 85 20 30 zone and giving some angle to the price if it's depending on how it starts developing of course it might just drop like this which would be ideal but giving it some uh, angle here that could be a reasonable place to start cashing out the final parts if you're still holding for the longer run. So that would be all. If you have any questions about any other pair or you'd like me to create a video about it, um, please post your comments below and I'll be happy to check it out. Have a wonderful one.